I've been, as we are all aware, um, COVID-19 has presented a very difficult time for everyone. What type of real estate issues have you been facing with your clients so far? Yes, it's been unprecedented, the kind of tumultuous, all kinds of unplanned things that are happening. In real estate industry, what I've been finding, especially with my clients, are two big issues. One of which is financing. A lot of people have their subjects removed, ready to complete, then they lose their job as a result of COVID, and it's unfortunate. And then they have, they're left with trying to complete the purchase without having financing. Because when financing, when it was approved, everything was fine. Then when it comes to completion, close to that, for maybe a week, within the last two months, they realize they don't have a job. They can't, they can't manage the financing to pay the mortgage. And then the mortgage gets canceled. That's one very important issue that has come up. Another one as well is I have a lot of clients who um, are sellers of homes and prior to the um, COVID happening, um, they had agreed to sell their house vacant so that the tenants would be moving out. Now in the middle of March, um, the BC government announced an, a, a ban on evictions on, on properties so that tenants are not allowed to be kicked out because of COVID. And that situation has encountered a, um, caused a lot of problems when it comes to both the seller um, but also when it comes to the buyer as well. The buyer, in a lot of situations, they're looking to have a house that they can move their family into. And the seller was trying to look for, for a way to buy and sell their house, and to sell the house so that they can um, pay all their financial um, um, obligations. So that's two big issues. So what are, what are some options for clients at this time? Well, for people who have lost their financing, um, I say to all my clients in these situations, it's very, very important to do whatever you can to find people to help with them to purchase the property. If you can get a private loan, have family, friends, people can loan you money. And if you're worried about the uh, the, the monies, um, to have agreements in place to protect everybody who's helping you purchase the home. Because if you don't purchase the home, even COVID-19 cannot be used as a reason not to complete. It is not a reason to say that the contract ha can be canceled. So liabilities will flow from not completing if you don't. In a situation where a, um, the buyer didn't complete, the seller can actually sue the buyer for any differences between what they eventually sell it for and what the price was that they had agreed to the buyer, because there's a lot of losses there that could potentially happen. They can even add their legal fees on top. So I would tell the buyer who will suddenly lose their financing from the bank, do whatever they can to get some funds from family, from, from, from friends, in order to join together to purchase the home still. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Ivan, for giving some insight into the obstacles that clients are facing in this challenging time. You're welcome, and thank you for having me here, Helen. Thank you.